Hey there, my name is Sergey, developer advocate at Userfront. And I have a challenge. Can we build a categories page with storefront UI in 10 minutes? Well, let's find out. All right, so what are we going to build? We will try and replicate the categories page that you can see now on the screen from our demo React project. And you can find the link to this project down in the description. Uh, our starting point is a bare Next.js application with pre-installed and pre-configured storefront UI package. You can learn how to do it yourself with a hint in the right top corner of this video. And our app is running locally on localhost 3000 and you can see the only thing we have here is this small line content goes here. Let's start with a header and footer first. And for this we'll use storefront UI. Let's go to install for React and scroll down on the left sidebar and open blocks navbar top component. We will use the one with fill background. So how to use it, open code and copy the source code of this component inside components folder, create new file navbar.tsx and paste code inside. Now let's rename this component to navbar, save it and also, we will need a footer, so let's go back to the docs and do the same thing, open code tab, copy the source code of footer, create new component footer.tsx and paste component here. I will rename this component to footer and save the file. Now, in order to use it, we will uh, use Next.js layout and let's create new layout export const layout it will receive children as props and then it will return um, an empty react fragment and inside oh sorry and inside let's import navbar close it and then we will pass children and close this with footer component now we have layout in order to use it let's go to the underscore app file and return our component wrapped with layout component. All right. Check what we have. Now we can see that we are using our navbar and footer and content is uh, inside these two components. Let's close the files. Now let's focus on index.gsx. First, let's start with breadcrumbs. Go back to store from UI docs, open breadcrumbs block and we will use the very first one, code, copy the source code and create new component, breadcrumbs.tsx. Paste the code and we need to do some changes over here. Let's remove this layout and rename showcase to breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs and also rename the component itself to breadcrumbs. Now save it. And we can close the file and let's import the breadcrumbs in our index.tsx file. Okay, let's see how it looks. Yeah, now we have our breadcrumbs. And next thing I want to use to build the filters. And first, let's start with h1 tag. And let's browse, browse products. All right, and uh, filters. So let's go back to storefront UI documentation, open filters block. And you can find filters for color and then for size, brand and many others. But let's scroll down to the very, very last block where you have all of these filters in one. So let's copy this component, create a new file, filters sidebar, .tsx, paste this file here. And yeah, it's called filters uh, side panel, I guess. Yeah, let, let's just rename it to filters sidebar. All right, uh, save the file and again, let's import it here. All right, let's check how our app looks. Well, okay, this browse products doesn't look so good. So um, let's edit some styles to it. So uh, class name, class name, and let's make it text uh, XL. All right, and also let's add a uh, font bold. Uh -huh and some margin so my um, i think my8 should be it should be fine all right so it looks better um if we go back to our app you can see we have also uh, margins from the side so let's add them and let's wrap 
this h1 and filters in the div and uh, this div will get some class name like mx8 all right M mx12 is better okay i don't like this list settings uh, line so get, let's get rid of that let's go back to filter sidebar find this list settings and delete this h4 tag all right save it now it looks better good so we have our filters but you can see we have some issues with vertical spacing so let's go back to index.js file remove this my8 from browse products and we will just wrap the whole thing with my uh, let's add it here my8 right so now our yeah we have some uh, spacing uh, between filters and footer and now let's start with the products so let's add products here and first let's add total products or no, 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 not total. Let's make it all products. All right. And of course you will see that all products are in the wrong place. So let's wrap them in a div and edit, make it a uh, display flex and gap of mm, six, all right? So save it. And now you see it looks better. Okay. So we can start with the products. So you can, we are using product card components here. And again, let's go back to uh, Storefront UI, open product card, and we'll use this product card vertical component, create a new component, call it product card. And since, since this will be the only product card we use, let's rename it from vertical to simply product card. Save it. Now let's edit in the index.js and import product card. Product card, okay. Save and let's check how it looks again. Well, again, we have the same issue. So let's add uh, a flex, but before that, okay, no, let's add flex. And um, for div, let's add class name, flex, flex wrap, uh, flex call, sorry, uh, and gap of eight. All right. And also we can change uh, our products to h2 and h2 here, and also add a class name. So again, it will be uh, text large and full font bold. Okay, font bold, right. So looks better. Good. And of course, right now it's the uh, only single product. We want to have a few of them. So let's not overcomplicate it. And I will just create a new uh, const called array const array and let's make it a simple array of uh, I don't know, 0 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 5 5 6 7 8 9 and let's mount over this array and render our product card and of course don't forget about key and all right our product card so let's save it and see and yeah it works but of course again we have a flex issue so let's wrap product cards in a div and this div will give a class name of flex and flex wrap and a gap of two. All right, let's save it. Looks better and looks way, way better now. All right, great. So uh, if you go back to the demo and you scroll to the bottom, we are using uh, pagination. Again, Storefront UI to the help. Let's open pagination component in Storefront UI, uh, get a source code, create a new component called pagination, pagination.dsx and paste it here and change again the name from showcase to pagination and let's import it here down the div of products let's uh -huh, pagination right save it and now let's go back again to our application let's refresh the page and if you scroll down you can see that our pagination is here and it's kind of working of course only as a mock and um, I don't really like how breadcrumbs look here and you can see that they are in a different place. So let's go back to the code and just place them inside our div with the margins. All right, so our breadcrumbs are here. We have our app and our categories page completed. Of course, it's not functional, but this has never been uh, our initial plan. We just wanted to build the UI to showcase how powerful Storefront UI is. And we have done it in 10 minutes. The challenge is completed. Thank you so much. See you next time.